I haven't played on my 99 overall in almost two months now. This is my first day back as a 99 overall. I've been playing on my shot creator, my pure shot creator, going crazy with the Naruto. And I forgot, sometimes I forget I'm a 99 overall on this game, that I'm immortalized in 2K20, that I'm getting these rewards. I forget sometimes. But Finish the here. main reason why you clicked on this, on this video is to see how good is a 99 overall even when you take two months off on it and obviously the next reason is because you want to know if that grind is worth it you're thinking about hitting 99 overall if they bring back 99 overall next year and if they don't bring it to where it's park rep even if it's just park rep you can still hit 99 but it's going to be way harder doing it all park big ups to poor boy sin because he's the only person i know to be doing that but 99 overall is 110% worth it. You saw where I just shot that full white from. And it still went in with the game on the line. It's extremely worth it, especially if you are a content creator. I repeat, if you are a content creator or want to be a content creator, this is what you need to get your foot in the community without clickbaiting, without doing glitches and a lot of all the stuff that captures viewers attention this is the way you need to get your foot in the community because even all the youtubers that don't feel like hitting 99 are gonna hit you up to use your account and give you a shout out you know me personally i've never done that why because i don't trust people like that i'm just gonna be straight up even if they're trustworthy i still don't wanna trust nobody with my account i work too hard for it but guys think about it in 2k18 I started off with no subscribers, little to no subscribers. It actually was 25 subscribers from previous years before. And by the time 2K19 came out, I had 600 subscribers. Now we've shattered that mark. Why? Because we put that grind in knowing that it's hard to get your name out there. We put that grind in. And one thing that's always true is when you grind hard, it's going to pay off. So if you're thinking about doing it, do it. Commit to it and you won't regret it. Post videos, stream something, you won't regret it. Also, there's going to be a lot of hate that comes with it. There's going to be a lot of love. But don't focus on either. Focus on the reason why you're doing it. You're trying to do it because you want to have fun with a 99. You're trying to get the rewards and you're trying to get your name out there. People are going to say you're an amateur or whatever. If you're Elite 3 doing it on park, people are going to say you can't play rec, you can't play pro-am, you can't play my career. You don't know how to play organized basketball like you. It's, it's one or the two. Accept it because sooner or later, you're going to forget about those people. Because guess what? At the end of the day, your goal is to make it into the community or into the just YouTube community and become a content creator. Or even if you don't want to be a content creator and you want to hit 99, I would not rush to hit 99 if you're not trying to do it for content creating. I would just personally hit it if you really just want to see what it's like. Hit it throughout the year, hit it by summertime, don't rush it because it takes a lot of work and I would hate to see you do all that work and get nothing out of it. No payments, no nothing. No, that would be a waste of time. Now, am I going to strive to hit 99 overall next year? Absolutely not. If it's, t if it's the same way it was this year and last year, absolutely not. That grind is brutal, but it's worth it for that one time event. Big ups to all the 99 that can do it every year because I'm not with it. Especially not with a lot of in real life responsibilities. I'm not going to do that again. But will I be a high overall? Pretty much because I know the rep methods now. I know the way how to get that 96 overall in just two weeks. But everything beyond, beyond that 96 overall is a mess. I'm talking about a long time just to move up 10 percent now one final advice i have for those thinking about it is exploit the rep methods when the game first comes out because when 2k18 and 2k19 first came out you were getting heavy rep at the beginning of the year then 2k starts patching so no life for that first two three weeks before they start patching up the game so you can already have a head start yes hit that no life button activate it and don't see the sunlight. 
I hope this video helps you out in some way, shape, or form. Big up on yourself. Big up, Lord Almighty. Without some, we can't do that now. Smack that like button. Hit subscribe. Yardman Gaming gone.